Hi, my name is Steph Jacoby. I'm a senior chemistry major at Colgate University and I'm on the softball team. So this summer I work on a project called ACLIP, which stands for the Asian Summer Monsoon Chemical and Climate Impact Project. It's a NASA and NSF, which is the National Science Foundation sponsored project. And basically they form a group of collaborative scientists with groups from different universities, organizations, and they all come together and they work on this one project, which happened to be in South Korea. I was working as a member of the team from NOAA, which worked with a specific instrument. So it was me and my academic advisor. And then we were helping out with a team of three other members that work for NOAA. And this is their primary job is to work on these projects. So I started out the summer for the first seven weeks I was on campus and I was going into the lab every day and I was working with old data set archives from a previous NASA mission that worked with the similar uh, black carbon pollutant. So I was analyzing old data using the computer program that was, I was going to use in South Korea. It's called Igor. So I was just doing a lot of data analysis, getting familiar with what types of things we were looking for, how to work with the computer code, and then also just kind of what we would be looking for and what the data might look like so that once we got to Korea and started taking data, I was in a good position to start analyzing. Once I was done on campus, I went to Houston where they were performing test flights. So since it's aircraft data, there's this one plane and it's a high altitude plane called a WB-57 and it has a bunch of scientific instruments on it. So basically they test the plane, um, they run all of the instruments, fly it at the altitude it'll be flying at during the project, and then they kind of just make sure that the, all of the data looks like it should be and that the instruments are working. So my project, or the team that I worked with, is looking at black carbon, and our instrument is called a single particle soot photometer, which analyzes refractory black carbon and aerosol particles in the atmosphere. I'm looking specifically at the microphysical properties of black carbon, and once you go through the further data analysis, you can analyze the black carbon particles that were in the atmosphere when the plane was flying through it, and you can find out about how big they were, how thickly they were coated with other atmospheric compounds, and you just kind of analyze the specific pollutant at that altitude and how much of it was there and what did it look like. So black carbon is a primary aerosol pollutant. It is formed from inefficient combustions. So since it's really dark, when it's in the atmosphere, it absorbs light. It's like a black t-shirt in the sun. It gets really warm, it absorbs the radiation, and then that contributes to the warming of the atmosphere. So what a project like ACLIP looks to do is to kind of quantify how much black carbon is in the atmosphere. And we are specifically looking at the impact of the Asian summer monsoon, which is a meteorological pattern that essentially it can remove black carbon from the atmosphere. So we were trying to see when there was this air that was influenced by the monsoon, if there was less black carbon at higher altitudes versus if there was a lot of it, because obviously that has implications for the overall warming of the atmosphere. And it's really important for just climate models and predictions for the future because our science helps to parameterize these models. Once we started doing research flights, we're starting to analyze the data that we were collecting as part of the project. So we were able to look at basics of initial concentrations of black carbon. We were able to kind of test our initial guesses that things would be coated very thickly because South Korea has very high emissions of black carbon. So we were kind of had some expectations of what the data might look like based off of that. So we were able to test that initially. And then we just continued to collect more data on days that the plane would fly. It looked a lot like Houston where we would get up early. We would run the pre-flight we would watch the plane take off and um, watch the initial data come in to make sure that everything seemed to be running okay. And then once the plane landed, we would go through our post-flight. And then if we had any time left in the day, we would continue with the data analysis of that flight. 
I was only there for two weeks. The project ran for a little over a month, so I left pretty early on in the project, but I was able to get a really good sense of how field campaigns work, what it looks like, how people collaborate with each other, and I was also able to just watch the data be collected because now, as part of my senior thesis at Colgate, I am continuing to work with the data I collected this summer, and I'm continuing to analyze it, and then at the end of the process, after about a year and a half, I will be able to write a thesis and that will be when the project really concludes so it's been cool to see the project start and then continue to work with it and I'll see it through for a year.